Ladies, here are three reasons why a man has multiple baby mamas. Reason number one, his baby mamas are side chicks, permanent side chicks who he has put on the bench. He feels that he is entitled to sleep with his baby mamas anytime he wants to. And having a baby ensures that he can keep a foot in the door. Nine times out of 10, he's a narcissist and the child is simply a pawn piece for him to stay connected to his baby mother. He really don't give a shit about the child. He really doesn't want to uh, be financially responsible. And if he has money, he will buy the child toys and spoil the child so that the child can become a spy and stalker and tell him all of mommy's business. These types of men create their own side chicks by putting a baby in them. He doesn't love you, he doesn't love the child. He simply wants to have access to what's between your legs when he's good and ready and you better not give it to another man you are his permanent side chick and he has put you on the bench with a baby reason number two he's a closeted homosexual that's right i said what the fuck i said he's on the down low and he wants to confuse and trick people into believing that he's a whore that juggles multiple women so by having multiple baby mamas he thinks it'll fool the whole community from the fact that he's really into men. He's hiding behind his baby mamas. His baby mamas serve him as a beard. They are covering up his homosexuality. So he thinks people are stupid, but people are not stupid. People are figuring this shit out. How can a man love women when he treats them like fucking objects and impregnates them and he creates several broken homes? It's selfish to the children to be able to, you know, he has to split himself and share himself with all his children. It's selfish and he does not care about nobody but himself. He objectifies his baby mamas and his children because he's secretly into men. The third reason is he plays his baby mamas against each other because he wants them to compete over him. This is called triangulation. And if he's able to get women to compete over him, specifically his baby mothers, he can uh, continue to get whatever he wants out of any of them, be that sex, be that money, be that resources, assets. He will have all y'all fighting over him. And y'all will be boo-boo the fool. All the baby mamas will look like clowns giving this motherfucker whatever he wants, money, ass, you know, let him drive your car to pick up more side chicks because y'all are weak and insecure and y'all fighting each other instead of fighting him. All the baby mamas need to cut this motherfucker off. He's the problem. Does being a baby daddy lower your value? Yes, it does lower a man's value if he has multiple baby mamas. Now, if he's divorced and he only has one baby mama, um, I'll give him the exception. If he turns around and learns from the experience and he does right by the next woman, he's exempt from this. But most men, whether they have money or not, and they have multiple baby mamas, are low fucking value. I will never deal with a man with multiple baby mamas ever again. No. It says to me that he lacks leadership skills, he lacks uh, morals, he lacks impulse control, and he lacks discipline. He can't keep his you-know-what in his fucking pants. You will never be a priority to a man that has multiple baby mamas. They will constantly be calling for money and his attention. And if them bitches are just as toxic as he is, they're going to fuck him. I don't care if their children are grown. They're still going to fuck. And God forbid if you're more prettier, more successful than she is, and she's a bitter lowlife, she's going to fuck y'all shit up and he's going to allow it. Ladies, let me tell you something. Be careful dating a man with a bunch of baby mamas. A lot of women ain't going to like you because you with him. And a lot of women still want him. And a lot of women don't want her kids around you. Especially if you look better than them, doing better than them, you smarter than them. A lot of these baby moms be jealous of the new woman. And these men be knowing that. So if a man can't give you a warning sign before he dates you about all these baby mamas, then he put you in a dangerous situation. Because you don't know what type of women he done dealt with. That man done dealt with some crazy women. And that's the reason why he ain't with them. Because a lot of them women be toxic. And also he can be toxic. And a lot of these men be liking when you fight their baby mamas. They love that drama. They want to feel important. They want to feel like somebody. Oh, she fighting over me. She really love me. You ain't got no time for that. These men come with too many problems. And he mess with all these women having baby by. And he ain't with none of them. Mm-mm. Watch yourself. As you can see, it's passing me the night here. 
and um, I thought to share this with you. My mom told me something. She said, in all you do, never get married to a man that has kids. Never get married to a man that has kids. First, it was cliche to me. I'm like, if I love the person and the person has kids, can't I manage? Can't I just swallow whatever? Or can't, if he loves me that much, can't he do everything right by me? <laughs> you know, there's an adage in Africa, or let me say in Nigeria, that says, waiting elder go see while sitting down. You small begin, even when you stand up, you climb tree, you know, go see him. Dear sisters, if you are already a victim of what I'm saying, then more grace to you. If everything is going well, praise the Lord. But if you are single and you're considering, if you know you can go through it, it's fine. But then, sis, it's not an easy journey. It's going to be a roller coaster. There is no spirituality about that. There is no Christianity in that. He would want to take care of his kid. And you would want to have your own kid. And you would want him to put your kid above his other kids. <laughs> and then you become a demon. And you become a devil. So choose wisely. If there is a way out, sister, better take the exit door. Because even if he has money, you will not have peace. That inner peace you see people have, that will be gone for you. Speaking out of experience. It's even risky dating a guy that has kids because eventually you might decide you want to get married to him. So... Like I said, this is midnight and I thought to share this thought with somebody. I don't know who it's for, but if you have a way, you're not married yet and there is an exit point, take the exit door and be at peace with yourself. You know, guys, sometimes uh, when you tell lady not to go out with a man with multiple mamas, you know, most of these ladies, they actually think that maybe... Uh, you are deceiving them or you know some of them will tell you that the guys loves me as long as he gives me money as long as he gave me attention like <laughs> oh my god like the moment you join or uh, you join this baby mama oh my god like that is going to be your end i believe you guys have listened to this different uh, different speech from different people these are people with experience and you just need to take their words very, very serious because a man with, with a multiple mama, he can never love you. He can never give you all the attention that you deserve. Yes, he can never. Even if you get married to him, you will always have a problem. You will always have a problem in that relationship. That is more reason why you don't even have to, you know, to date a man with a multiple mama. Don't do that. The moment he got you pregnant, guys, trust me, believe me, he's going to leave you for another woman. Yes, of course, because that has been his handwork. Yes, that has been his main handwork. So you just have to desist from anything that has to do with men with multiple mamas. They are cheaters. They cheat. They cheat. Guys, let me know what you think about the video in the comment section. And don't forget to hit on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and turn your bell for your notification. So let me know your candid opinion under the comment section. What do you think? Okay. See you all in my next one. Bye.